Let me start by showing you what you can actually learn in this tutorial. In VR. Now we are in VR, uh, let's ignore the table for now and go here, because that's probably why you are here, right? You won't have sword as wonderful as this one. Well, you can see that the hold is improved quite a lot and you can use it to destroy and delete all these cubes or just whatever, play with physics. But now let's look at why we have this table here. You know, I decided to make it a little bit more interesting and uh, show you how you can actually cut stuff. Yeah. I think it makes this story much more interesting. You can see that it creates this weird lighting stuff, but that's the material I have chosen. You don't need to do that, you will see everything in this tutorial. You can, you will be able to cut that to as many parts as you wish. And you can do it with any mesh you desire. I have used just basic VR template in Unreal Engine and loaded this map, motion controller map, and added a few modifications, but that's, these are not important. Well, what you what you need is uh, that sword you actually want to use. In my case, I have decided to use Dark Depulsor because I'm man of a culture, of course. And you can uh, have, and also I have decided to use this table just to have some stuff to cut. I originally wanted car, but it had too many polygons. Sad. But if you are, if you want your own materials or your own models, you can find them wherever you want. It will work, of course. But if you want to use same models as I, there is a link in the description. They are all downloaded from uh, Sketchfab. Okay, now let's do everything to have it clear for you. It should look just like that, or maybe without this fear reflection. I would recommend you to add it, of course, you can find it here. Okay, to start we need to copy one of these blue cubes. So let's go to Virtual Reality BP. Uh, by the way, if you are interested in how I am showing this, it's simply with this button. I find it quite helpful. Uh, so let's go to Virtual Reality BP, Blueprints, and click on that BP Pickup Cube, Control c go back to Content, because that's when I, where I want all my assets, and press Control v So we have it here. And let's rename it to BP, okay, BP underscore sword. Click Enter. And you can see that there is already code how to pick up and drop stuff. We just have to modify it a little bit. Uh, but first let's go to viewport and change the static mesh component to your sword. And it was called dark pulsar. Okay, wonderful. But the problem is that it is a little bit too big like this. Uh, so I need to change its size to 1.5. But if you are using different mesh it will be of course different. Hopefully it's one. Okay, then let's go to event graph. After attach to component, you need to add set a relative location and rotation for our static mesh component, which you can see right there here. And now, oh, one more thing, you need to change location to snap to target and snap to target rotation and location. And now we need to get this uh, location and rotation stuff from somewhere. So let's close it and go back to our virtual reality BP blueprints and open our BP motion controller. There you will see your wonderful hand and I have done it something I shouldn't, but <laughs> let's not spoil it. And what you will do is to add component and add static mesh. Make sure that it's not attached to anything else than the scene, so it's not under teleport, under a row or anything else. And as that static mesh, let's set our dark repulsor again. And make sure that you set it on same scale as you set that previous one. And that will be 1.15, I believe. Oh no, 0 0.15. That would be a bit of a mistake, wouldn't it? If it's not scaling all of them at the same time, you probably don't have selected this uh, lock. Okay, compile. And now uh, you can click on that hand. Just zoom in and click on that hand. And select uh, this animation blueprint to animation asset and set it to grab. So now it looks same if, as if you have grabbed it with your controller. And now what you need to do is to rotate that uh, mesh, your sword, as you need it. I will just speed it up, of course. Just a quick thing, make sure that you disable these snapping tools, because it will make it much easier to have correct uh, rotation allocation. location. 
Okay, that's about it for me. So now we have these coordinates that we were looking for. So let's put it on the side of the screen and on the other one, let's open our... Oh, no, that's the wrong PP sword. We want our... Go to content and PP sword that I have created just for you. It's for you. <laughs> okay, let's put it here and set this uh, location and rotation that you have from here. With location you can just copy that, but with rotation I'm afraid that you will have to write it by yourself. Now when this all is set, let's try it in VR. Just make sure that everything is set to snap to target and you have right location and rotation. Okay, play in VR. Oh, and you can see that I have already made a mistake. I first of all didn't change my hands back and I have left the mesh here, but it doesn't stop us. Oh, it did stop us. Okay, there was a lot of mistakes. <laughs> so. First of all, you need to put that blueprint into your game, actually. Okay, let's ignore that. And back in your virtual BP, blueprints, motion controller, and make sure that you do either delete that, or if you are not sure if you have it correctly, let's just disable it so it doesn't show. And then click on your hand and set it back to animation blueprint. Okay, now make sure that the, your sword is in game and just to quick test if physics works, so let's click on this arrow and set it to simulate. And it seems to work fine, so let's try it in VR, now for real. Okay, you can already see the sword there, so let's take it. And it works just fine for me. As you can see, I'm holding my sword, it looks cool. I see, feel like Kirito, everything is so cool. And what I can do now is to actually test physics of it. You can see that it already has enabled collisions, so you can basically do anything with that right now. Like play baseball or, I don't know, defeat the Ankrat. Last floor, of course. Okay, I'm sure that it was so easy that we can get to cutting those stuff, because that will be a bit more difficult. So let's go back to our content folder, click right click and create new blueprint actor this time and let's call it, I don't know, mesh or whatever you want to call it. Okay, now let's uh, cl uh, go to, oh, no, 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 let's start in co component and add here mesh, static mesh. If you are interested in uh, cutting skeletal mesh, uh, to be completely honest, I don't know how to do that yet in VR, but uh, that's something I'm researching for my VR sci-fi games. Uh, by the way, if you're interested in that, you can watch vlogs somewhere here. But I will probably figure that out, hopefully, and I will make tutorial for that too, so stay tuned and subscribe, like, and all this funny stuff. But uh, right now, let's get back to tutorial. Here we have, with our static mesh, let's set it to table. You can set it to whatever you want, I will set it to table. You can download it from Sketchfab as I said. Okay, table extra long, great. Compile it and add component. Now we need to add procedural mesh. Procedural mesh, compile, construction skip, and, and now we need to set it to copy. Copy procedural mesh from static mesh component. Okay, right here and our static mesh set right like that and our procedural mesh set as our procedural mesh and make sure that you create collisions okay compile that and we need to do a few more stuff here so first of all let's click right here on class setting open it and under interfaces right in the middle click uh, pick up interface actor with that you will be able to interact with that what that interface does is it will enable you to move that with your hand, with just with your hand, but that won't work now, we need to do that later. So now we need to add a few more adjustments. Let's go to our static mesh and uh, scroll down, set uh, collision preset to no collision. Also, let's hide it because we don't want to see that original static mesh, so we need to set it to hidden in game. Okay, compile it and then let's go to our procedural mesh and simulate physics. Uh, set it to block all, that's all right. And da -da -da, everything else is hopefully, no, no, there was something more. You need to actually use complex as simple collisions, disable that. Def you definitely don't want to do that. Compile it. 
Also, if you have problem with uh, these cutting stuff, it's possible that you have a uh, wrong collision. So for that, I would recommend you to click on your. Oh, doesn't matter. I have a sword, but doesn't matter. Click on your collision and just check if they are all right. You can create new ones. Blah blah blah. That's up to you all. So now let's put that in uh, the game and see if it works. Okay, content. Here is our mesh. Put it a little bit more up and let's try to simulate it. And it seems like it works. Okay, let's see if we can finally interact with it in VR. It should work, hopefully. Okay, what it basically does now is to simulate procedural mesh, right? You know, creates procedural mesh. No static mesh is available or seen right now because uh, static meshes are much more uh, hard, hard for system for performance. So now let's see if you can probably already move it. As you can see, it works just fine. You can't really pick it up or anything, but gravity works on that and we can sort of move it. So now what we'll need to do is to set it that we can cut it with our sword. Okay, for that, let's go to our sword, BP sword, edit sword. And first thing we will do is to add here plane. Okay, add component plane and scale it up approximately to size of your blade. Uh, it's probably better to have it a little bit wider than your blade because if you will have enabled collision on this, which is probably recommended because you want to use it for something else as than slicing as well, of course. But, but so I would probably recommend you to have it wider a little bit. So let's go to event graph. Oh, first let's click on that plane and create here on component begin overlap and one more time and click on um, component and overlap. Okay, and from here, let's create two ones and that and that end overlap connect here. Okay, compile. After two ones, let's cast to procedural uh, mesh component and that object connect to our other composition. And from that, what we will do is to slice components. Slice procedural mesh, slice procedural mesh, and in procedural mesh connect right here. Okay, and now uh, click on create new selection for cap. After that, we will set uh, simulate physics and connect our target to simulate. But there is a few more stuff. Primarily, we need to do something with this plane normal. For that, we will take our plane and we will get our world location. And if I am not mistaken, we will take our uh, get up vector. Yes, that's about it. And let's see if there is something we I have missed. And I don't think so that actually is. Okay, let's test it in VR what it does. Uh, make sure that you notice that uh, I haven't enabled uh, this uh, create other half. I will show you why and what it does. Okay, what I have probably missed now back in our mesh, which is means our table blueprint. Uh, let's uh, go to our procedural mesh and make sure that we enable simulate physics, which should be da -da -da, somewhere here. Yes, simulate physics and click on that mass in kilograms and set it much lower. For example, 15 or 20, it's up to. And one more thing, we need to go to our BP sword and that's something I always forget. Look at your plane and you need to set collision preset from block all dynamic to overlap all. Overlap all, compile, and let's test it out now. Okay, now in VR, let's quickly get our sword. And let's, okay, <laughs> sorry about that. The teleporting is a bit weird. Let's try to cut it. And you can see that it works just fine. Yes, it's weird, but that's exactly what, you, what it is supposed to do. And let me explain why. As you have probably noticed by yourself, the, it uh, shows us errors, but that's completely all right. Uh, click on that. It will take us to that but, uh, because we haven't enabled this create other half. So for that, it doesn't know what kind of physics it should simulate. That's why it shows us that error. So if you want to cut it and let it disappear at once, let's uh, not click on that and uh, let 
uh, don't write here this part of code, the, uh, this blueprint. But uh, what you probably want is to enable this and now let's see how it looks like in VR. Just a quick thing before we test it again, there is cap material which was that shiny thing which we have seen from the start. Right there you saw that some weird uh, pointy stuff. I will set it back to our after which is just simple material with emission. You can set it to whatever you want. So let's compile and see. If you don't want, don't set that cap material here. Okay, let's try to play it. Take your sword for now and cut it. And it seems like it works just fine. Look at that. Yeah, I'm not saying that these collisions doesn't need work, but that's not in scape of this tutorial. It's almost funny how much it is jumping. And with each of these pieces you can of course interact. You can you can probably pick them up, but you can sort of move them and do something. And last thing, so you don't need to look at it, uh, click on your sword, edit BP sword and uh, that plane set to a hidden in game. Somewhere uh, right here. Compile and now everything should work just fine. I hope that you have well functional sword for your game, you can cut whatever you want. If you are interested in a game that I'm developing, you can watch something here. It's sort of sci-fi game that's heavily inspired by Star Wars and other, other funny stuff. You can watch devlogs somewhere here. I'm posting them almost two times a week. Almost. <laughs> anyway, that's everything from me. I hope that tutorial was helpful for you. If it was, push a like button, subscribe and all this funny stuff. That's about it. Surfancy out.